Nation of No Entertainment, Destiny Productions. So there we're going to go ahead, we're going to be doing a little, little mashed potatoes, and uh, we're going to do a little meatloaf, and we're going to do your grains. Digestive track, good for taking shit for shit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take these right here, we're going to go ahead and drain them out. We've been cutting them, we started cutting them, we'll drive them over here, just like so. We've been cutting them, we cut them up in squares, we've been watching the other kitchens, we've been cutting them the same, we go ahead and put them in the pot. We boil them until they get nice and soft. So, I'm going to wrap over here and get a tater. I'll go ahead and cut it. That's good to go. Alright? I'm going to use the same pan. Bring it back over here. I love shavies. And these women right here are very sexy. Angel devils. Alright, so I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a pan like that. Alright? My Jack Daniels is falling down my pants. Alright, so now we're going to come over here. We gotta be quick with it. You gotta turn down, turn down, you gotta turn that down. You don't want nothing to burn, right? Alright, so now we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna go ahead and get a little spoon, because you gotta put some, some butter in there. And if it's cooking, and uh, it's looking like it's burning the bottom like that, you need to chill it out. Get some cold milk in there. See that? Mm hmm. Now it's good. So, now we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna stir it up a little bit. And uh, you don't wanna put too much milk at the start, because you'll make those taters too mashy. Alright, so now we'll come back over here. So in the meatloaf, we're gonna get that started. In the meatloaf, we did round turkey. We did 90, 93.7, so it's nice and lean. Because everything we do is nice and cooking. It's nice and healthy. So now we go ahead and put it in the pan. And we went ahead and did, we went ahead and did garlic. And we had to hit the Tony's. And we did some all seasons. And we did some other seasonings. And we did some black pepper. And we put some goat cheese in there. And why not put some taco season and change it up? And we go ahead and put some carrot strips in there too as well. I want egg. And also you gotta do your bread too as well. Because you know you wanna get some bread crumbs. Sometimes it's too juicy, you gotta get those juices soaked up. So we'll come back over here and finish our taters. Alright? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in some garlic right there. Right? Put some garlic in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put uh what else are we gonna put in there? Oh, Jack Daniels foam down. We're gonna go ahead and put in some Tony's right there too as well. Get that going. We'll go ahead and get our season on real quick. Season all up in there real quick. Jack Daniels got to come on pocket. Put it right there. All right. And then we're going to come back over here. We'll get some pepper. Some pepper on that bitch. All right. Got some pepper on there. And then we're going to come over here and we'll get some onion. I like myself some onion. These are some special taters. Back in the day when I was in grade school, I used to make taters for all the little kids. Fifth and sixth and seventh grade. We used to do it nice and fine inside. And you know, I don't like to use that automatic gizmos and gadgets. I like to go ahead and use a little bit of... It's just kind of nice and easy. Just go ahead and use like a little whisk broom right here, a little whisker. Or you can go ahead and you can use a masher too as well. And you can mash those dishes. Look at that. All right. Nice and mashed up. Nice and good. Those are like mashed up. And then the good way to try these two as well, you can go ahead and take your finger in there. Woo, it's a hot tater. Not quite done yet, so I'm going to go ahead and mix it a little bit more. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to use my little whisk here. All right, right. Get that going. A little bit of garlic. All right, do it with your garlic. All right. So those are your mashed potatoes. All you gotta do is boil them, you check them real quick, and you go ahead and drain them and put them back over there. A little butter, a little milk, a little seasonings, got to go. Come back over here, put our green beans. Now look at this right here. Look at this. Boom. Go ahead and grab this real quick, bring it out. There's our meatloaf. We went ahead and put some bacon on that meatloaf too. And that's some turkey bacon on some turkey meatloaf. So now we'll come back over here and we'll go ahead and grab a plate. Pull this all back in. Grab a plate real quick. We got wrap plates over here. Put our black pigs. Cut it up. Black shower. Look at this right here. Cut it up. Ooh, it's hot. Put it on top. Black pan. Put our red potatoes. Put it on top like that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Don't take the green beans. Put our green beans on there too as well. Get those greens for your digestive tract. Now we got some good old mashed potatoes. Gravy, no gravy. We're potatoes. And we got some meatloaf. And we got some green beans. 
Let's go ahead and try this out real quick. See how we're doing. Y'all blow it off. I like to do the little mix up right there. Look, the green almost matched my shirt. Oh, moly. That's a hot pater. All right, well, bottom getter. Episode, what is this one? Episode 11, Ashley Norm's Kitchen. Tune in. I'm going to get to eating. We'll talk to you soon.